Made in Hollywood. In American Made, Tom Cruise is a hotshot pilot who some might call a real American hero. Hero? Wasn't his character a drug smuggler? Yes, but according to the movie, that's okay if you're doing it for the good guys. Hello, my name is Donald Gleason, you're watching Made in Hollywood, and this is a clip from American Made. This is the United States Drug Enforcement Agency. We are ordering you to land. All right, boys, let's land. Yeah, what was this experience like working with Tom and Doug and in this unbelievable story, really. It is an unbelievable story. It is crazy that so much of it happened in real life. And then it was, I mean, working with, they're, they're both two of the people who are at the absolute top of the game in the world. Exciting, overwhelming, dream come true. Top of your class in the Civil Air Patrol, a pilot like you shouldn't be flying buses. Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Bakersfield. Haven't you ever wanted something more, Barry? You should be serving your country. Your CIA. The story's set in the world of politics. It involves several presidents, and, and but it's not a political movie because Barry Seal really wasn't interested in that aspect of it. He didn't care if he was flying guns for the CIA or drugs for Pablo Escobar. You know, like he just he really didn't care what was in the back of his airplane. He just cared how heavy it was. We need you to deliver stuff for us. Oh, this is legal. If you're doing it for the good guys. What was Tom like uh, to be around kind of on a day-to-day -day basis? Because when I was watching this film, mm -hmm. I know some people are describing him as a bad guy, but I never once thought of him <laughs> as a bad guy. Like no. he's so charming and yeah. just so spot on. Absolutely, and he's like that in real life. I mean, he's super charming. He's very, he's like a motivator, you know? He like loves to work and he loves making movies. And um, he has this great energy about him and it really pumps up everybody around him. You are an airline pilot, Barry. That's how you support this family. This is gonna be good for us. Is this all legal? You trust me? No. Now, Tom and your director, Doug, are both pilots. Mm. And I understand they took you on a zero gravity experience? Yes, that was not how it was pitched, uh, but that is uh, a, a well, nice gentle idea. spin was how it was pitched, and it ended up being a zero gravity experience, which was absolutely bonkers. I mean, one of the maddest things that's ever happened to me in my life. We're expanding operations, Barry. The devil you know, the devil you know, the devil you don't. So Tom does all of his own flying. That's a perk for you, right? I mean, that's a huge advantage for a, a filmmaker when when your actor can, can do the stunts. I'll load the ground you want me. Because they, they are stunts. I mean, we're, we're doing car chases with airplanes. You're literally working with uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest movie star in the world, Tom Cruise. It was very overwhelming and also, you know, it was just one of those moments where um, I really, like, it took my breath away. We're expanding operations, Barry. When he's on set, he's an actor, you know? Like, you have to take that second to snap out of, good lord, it's Tom Cruise, you know? And he's very good at helping you get over that moment. And then he's then he's the lead of the film, who is leading the film as in the way the lead should do. I just thought it was immensely powerful, hugely fun. And I really liked going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. 1,500 kilos. That's 1,500 kilos, Barry. In one go. Get it done. 